Hi everyone, it's Jen. Welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. It's a Fabric Friday video today and I'm excited to share with the, you this super quick, fun little belly band idea. And it just uses some ribbon that you um, feed down the piece of card um, and it makes this fun, cute little Christmas tree. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, my voice is a bit croaky today, um, so I do apologise. But yeah, that could be on the page in a journal. How fun is that? So it's very simple and very quick to do. So I thought I would just show you how I've made it. Now, um, all you'll need is some card. Um, now, you don't necessarily need to stitch down here, um, but I've used double-sided sticky tape initially so when I'm folding um, the ribbon across it, um, and it doesn't hold as strong. You can go <clears throat> and put some glue behind it if you wanted to, um, but I just find it... Um, I like the look of the stitching on it and there's no reason why you couldn't hand stitch this as well if you wanted to. Um, so let's start by making another one of these. Let me move my journal over that side. So I've gone with, let's just see what my measurements were for this. I think the piece of card Yeah, it was eight inches, which just fits nicely on my A4 page. Um, and then I tend to have my belly bands about two and a quarter um, inches. So let's grab my trimmer. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Are you in full swing of doing Christmas uh, Christmas makes? I know I am. I know this weekend uh, hubby and I are planning to uh, get the decorations down. We're going to start with the lights, um, put up all the different lights that we want to put up. I just need to extend that. And then we'll probably sort out during next week getting the tree down and, and getting that up and decorated. leave that to one side so that's my piece which would normally if we were decorating it up with any other bits of ephemera or lace or anything that's kind of the size that I like to go for for a belly band um, so it's eight um, inches that way by two and a quarter obviously you can make it skinnier you can make it fatter however you like but I just find that that's a nice size and then what I do is my double-sided sticky tape to try and see if I can get this centre. I didn't do a very good job of doing it centre last time around, so I'm going to try better this time around. And then we're just going to put the double sided sticky tape down the middle. It's my bone fond. I like to give it a bit of a burnish down. Now we need to decide on our ribbon. I think I'm going to make another one of these in the green because I do want, I'm going to keep this one as my um, template. Now this is a metallic ribbon um, so it doesn't matter with it being folded either side. If you were going to use say um, a patterned one like this, um, when you had it this way and you fold it back you would lose the pattern so I do recommend you have um, quite a neutral um, colour, just a plain coloured ribbon. Um, I'm thinking these ribbons they're both, you could get away with that on that, cut, that side. Let's start with this. Pull this off. And now I just start simply by going along that side and then you you fold it down. So we want to create like a bit of a Christmas tree effect. Mm 
And if you can see, it doesn't stick down particularly well, which is why I do the sewing. But it's just enough to hold it in place. Okay. Right. As we're going down, we're getting slightly wider. be a little fiddly this is a uh, very springy lace um, ribbon twine stuff so that way. the thread this one's going to have a lot it's going to look completely different look so I think no two are going to be the same. Okay, so then we're going to just do that. But I didn't finish this end off here, I just left it. And thinking about it afterwards, I would have preferred to tuck this round. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. Is just measure a little wider. There we go. I would say about there. Take that off. Okay. So with this, I'm thinking it would be better to... quite a good bit. Right, I'm just going to burnish this down a little bit more to try and stick them. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this bit here, actually. Maybe it just needs to be at the end of that, like so. What do we think? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, actually. It just needs to go on the end here. I'm going to angle that slightly, and that's that. And that's our little tree. So what I would now do is stitch all the way down here like I've done that one, which I'm just going to pause the video because my machine isn't set up here. It's just to the side of me. Do the stitching and then I will be back and then we can do a whole load more of these um, and do them in some different colours. I'd love to use some of this green ribbon as well. So bear with us. I'll be back. Hello again. So there we go. That's all been stitched down. Um, it does look very different from uh, this first one that I did. Um, I've got a second star, so I want to glue that onto that page there. Um, sorry, onto the top of the tree there. My fingers are a bit sticky, look. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac glue. And just put some on here. I can't remember where I got these little puffed... Um, stars are from i have had them years and years um so i do apologize i'm not sure where they came from um but that i'm just wondering if i want my little star that way we do there we go so that's our star on the top of the tree oh doesn't that look so lovely absolutely love it so that is then just going to go on our page there as a belly band and you can tuck something in. I mean, you could have it on the side of the page as well if you wanted to and you didn't mind having these ruffles hanging out um, for you to still tuck something in. But I mean, they will lay flatter once they're in a journal, obviously, because they're going to have the weight of the pages and everything. But this particular ribbon is quite springy. So even after pages on there, it's going to spring up. So I love that. 
Okay, let's make a couple more. So I'll pop those up there out of my way and let's grab now I did excuse me yeah I got a couple of these backgrounds because I thought we well, don't have to have green as your background um, I wanted to have a little play with some of these okay so let's bring in this And we want to do two and a quarter, which is about there. And then I want eight. Quarter with this one and do one with eight as well, I think. think these would be really nice as backgrounds so that you don't necessarily have to have the plain green so let's do the same process the only thing I will say is that it's making my needle on my sewing machine very sticky um, I have a set one that I do for when I'm going through papers and glue and stuff um, so do be warned if you you just have the one needle that you use all the time for everything it will make it quite um, sticky that down so are we gonna go with the green oh that would be nice on that one I think actually yeah I think I'm gonna go with this one actually this darker color I definitely like it on here so let's take this off Now this frays a lot easier, um, this ribbon, so I'm just going to use my lighter to seal that edge. There we go. Okay, so let's start. And we'll do that at the top. And we're just going to concertina it down. Getting slightly bigger each time. Okay, that's not too bad. This ribbon has stuck a bit better to um, that. So do I want to... Just snip that off there. There we go. Okay. So that's that one ready to be sewn down the middle. Um, I just think this is a little bit too big. It needs to come in just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I like that. Let's have 
so fun stitch down there there's no reason why you couldn't add little bits to here little charms if you wanted to um, that would be really quite a nice idea so I actually think this colour is going to look good on here as well so let's do another one again just seal my edge on the ribbon like so It's quite therapeutic, actually, I'm finding doing this. And this one looks like how we're going to finish off is the other way on here. I've obviously done this one a little tighter, so I'm just going to cut that there. Yeah, there's more to this one. So yeah, these are, it's surprising how each one is coming up different, isn't it? So let me just seal the edge on here. Oops, I can pick it up. There we go. That's lovely. Got that edge. And that's another one. Look how different they look. <laughs> So I'm going to give these a quick sew and then they'll be pretty much done. So bear with me. There we go. That's those stitched down. Look how fun they look. I haven't got any more of my um, puff little stars to go on there. Um, but you can imagine that on your page there. That fills that whole page. Lovely. Put a little star on there. You could decorate that up. So that's that one, which has actually got a lot more folds in it. So that's really nice. This one, again, is a little looser with our ribbon, um, but still, I think that's so much fun. If you add little stars, if you've got some, maybe some um, die cuts would look nice on there, little star die cuts and stuff. So there we go. It's very quick and simple video because this is a very quick and simple project. Um, but I hope you'll give it a go. It's just something different. Um, not quite fabric um, in the sense of how I've done other fabric stuff, but it's still a texture. Um, ribbons and laces and everything. I mean, yeah, lace. You could do this with some lace if you had some lovely green lace. Um, I mean, there's no reason why it doesn't have to be green if you wanted. I mean, I've got a silver one here, so I was thinking of doing one that I could then cover with snowflakes. Um, what else have I got? I've got some gold here as well. So yeah, you could do anything um, and the technique is literally just the same. You, you're folding your material kind of like this way all the way down your page just to create a funky tree shape. So happy crafting everyone. Thanks very much for watching and I will be back, uh, let's see, Sunday. So will be some slow stitching on Sunday um, and then Monday we'll be back to doing some more paper crafting. So take care, everyone. Bye.